Today we'll have a look at what is partial derivative. Now we already know what is derivative, right? So let's take an example. Suppose we have to find the derivative of u with respect to x, where u is a function of x and y. Okay, it's an implicit function. So differentiating u with respect to x, the first term contains two variables that x and y. So we need to take u v rule there. So x into derivative of y will be 2y dy by dx plus y square into derivative of x will be 1. Remember, we are differentiating with respect to x. So whenever we take the derivative of y, we'll get an extra term that is dy by dx. Again, the next term also contains two terms. So you applying uv rule there, what we'll get x into derivative of y will be dy by dx plus y into derivative of x will be 1 minus derivative of x square is 2x. So arranging these, we'll get the derivative. Now this derivative is called as total derivative. Now let's look at what exactly is partial derivative. The partial derivative is denoted by del u upon del x or you can also write u and x in the suffix. That means derivative of u partially with respect to x. Now differentiating u partially with respect to x, whenever we differentiate partially with respect to x, the other variables in this example the variable y is to be treated as constant. So, partial derivative of u with respect to x. y square is a constant term, it will remain as it is and derivative of x will be 1. Plus, exactly the same way, y is constant, derivative of x is again 1. Minus derivative of x square is 2x. So, the partial derivative of u with respect to x is y square plus y minus 2x. Okay? So, partial derivative simply means the other variables apart from x are to be treated as constant. Okay, let's take a quick example to understand this better. Suppose we have u is equal to log of tan x plus sin y plus cos z. And we need to take the partial derivative of u with respect to x, del u upon del y and del u upon del z. Now first we'll find partial derivative of u with respect to x. So differentiating u partially with respect to x. So what is derivative of log x? It's 1 by x. So derivative of log of tan x plus sin y plus cos z will be 1 upon tan x plus sin y plus cos z into derivative of tan x plus sin y plus cos z according to the chain rule. Now when you take the derivative of these terms, remember y and z, the terms of y and z are constant terms. So derivative of constant terms will be 0 and derivative of tan x will be 6 square x. So the answer for the partial derivative of u with respect to x is 6 square x upon tan x plus sin y plus cos z. Exactly in the same way, you can try to find out partial derivative of u with respect to y and partial derivative of u with respect to z. When you find the partial derivative of u with respect to y, the terms of x and z will be taken as constant. And we find the partial derivative of u with respect to z, the terms of x and y will be taken as constant. So you can try these on your own and you can match these answers. Now, we have already seen how to take the partial derivative of u with respect to x. Let's see how to take the higher order derivatives. Suppose the question states we have to find del square u upon del x square. So we have already taken the first order derivative, we'll write down that. Now differentiating again partially with respect to x, remember the terms of y are to be taken as constant. So the derivative of the first two terms will be 0 and derivative of minus 2x will be minus 2. Hence the second order derivative of u partially with respect to x is equal to minus 2. Now, let's change the question a little bit. Suppose we have to find del square u upon del y del x. This means first we have to differentiate u partially with respect to x and whatever the answer we get, we have to differentiate that answer partially with respect to y. So, we have already differentiated u partially with respect to x. Now, differentiating this function this time with respect to y. 
So when we differentiate with respect to y, we have to treat the terms of x to be constant terms. So the derivative of minus 2x will be 0. So derivative of y square will be 2y, derivative of y will be 1 and derivative of 2x is 0. So the answer for del square u upon del y del x is equal to 2y plus 1. So this is how we find the higher order derivatives. So let's take an example to understand this even better. So we have z is equal to x raised to y plus y raised to x. And we have to prove del square z upon del y del x is equal to del square z upon del x del y. So in the left hand side, we need to first differentiate it with respect to x and then with respect to y. So let's take our z and differentiate partially with respect to x. Now. When we differentiate with respect to x, remember y is a constant term. And what is derivative of x raised to n? It is n into x raised to n minus 1. And we know that derivative of a raised to x, constant raised to x, is equal to a raised to x into log a. So, differentiating the first term, x raised to y is y into x raised to y minus 1. And differentiating the second term, y raised to x log y. So we have differentiated z partially with respect to x. Now we need to differentiate with respect to y. So differentiating this equation with respect to y. Remember, now we are differentiating partially with respect to y. So x is taken as constant. Now the first term contains two functions and both the functions contain y. So we need to apply u, v rule here. So y into derivative of x raised to y minus 1. Okay, applying this formula, we should get x raised to y minus 1 into log x plus x raised to y minus 1 into derivative of y will be 1. So we have differentiated the first term. Now differentiating the second term. Again, both the functions in the second equation contains y. So we need to apply uv rule there as well. So y raised to x into derivative of log y will be 1 by y plus log y into derivative of x raised to y will be x into y raised to x minus 1. Now if you look at the first two terms, both the terms contain x raised to y minus 1. So we can take x raised to y minus 1 common there. Then this term will come out to be y raised to x minus 1. So we can take y raised to x minus 1 common in the next two terms and finally we'll get the left hand side. So this is how we'll find the left hand side. We'll differentiate first with respect to x then with respect to y. Now we'll keep the first equation aside and we'll now differentiate z first with respect to y and then partially with respect to x. So differentiating z partially with respect to y. Remember, we are differentiating with respect to y, so x is treated as constant. So derivative of x raised to y is x raised to y log x and derivative of y raised to x will be x into y raised to x minus 1. Now we are differentiated with respect to y, now differentiating it with respect to x. Now we are differentiating with respect to x. So we need to treat y as a constant term. Now, even though it is a constant term, again, we have two functions which contain x. So we need to apply uv rule in both the terms. So applying uv rule there in the first term, what I'll get x raised to y into derivative of log x will be 1 by x plus log x into derivative of x raised to y will be y into x raised to y minus 1 plus Again, in the second term, again, we need to apply uv rule here. So x into derivative of y raised to x minus 1 is y raised to x minus 1 into log y plus y raised to x minus 1 into derivative of x will be 1. So again, this term becomes x raised to y minus 1. So you can take x raised to y minus 1 common in the first two terms and y raised to x minus 1 common in the sec next two terms. You will get your right hand side. Now we can compare the equation 1 and 2 and see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side.